Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for a video that's going to be very similar in style and execution to that of the thumbnail before you because when I calculated how much my golden prison break would be worth in real gold it was a very maths orientated video and this is going to have a similar feeling to it so I hope you enjoy um, this kind of delve into one of my passions in life that being math I love talking to you guys about math so naturally now that you know what this video is going to be about let's waste no more time and get straight into talking about the scarless levels mind you so simply put there are 121 levels in the entirety of this mainline scarless franchise we're talking about consoles console games here even we're excluding that of the 3ds game and this is of course including the boss levels from Scarlet Spot 4 so that's five of them you take them out and there's 116 which I did rank for another video but enough of the shameless plugs right here this means that there are 121 levels found across all six Scarlet games and naturally all these levels need a name from which to be recognized and called by names consist of a combination of words and when it comes to the words chosen for naming levels in Scarlet games Unfortunately, there is a huge amount of laziness. Like seriously, there are 171,146 words in the English dictionary, and all 121 levels between them only use 174 of those words, meaning they only take advantage of 0.1% of the English Dictionary to name these levels. On top of that, 86 of these words are repeated amongst multiple levels. So let's roll the intro and break down the unoriginal Skarda's level naming system, if you can even call it a system that is. And yes, I do have air quotation marks around the word system. Technically, there are 201 unique words found throughout every level name in the Skarnas franchise. But 27 of those words are completely made up, meaning they don't originate from the English Dictionary, which is why they weren't counted towards the 0.1 statistic I mentioned before the intro was rolled out. But anyway, what are these repeated words? Well, there are 34 total repeated words, however, some of these words are repeated multiple times, leading to 84 times a word was repeated throughout the naming of every Skarnas level. These repeated words are Island, Sky, Dark, Water, Castle, Forest, Troll, Crypt, Vault, Lair, Chaos, Off, Dragon, Peak, Time, Skylands, Golden, Temple, Undead, Realm, Park, and Fee. Yes, Fee is a word, and so is Off, so deal with it. Write down the level names of every level in the Skarner series, and you'll see each and every one of those words repeated at some point. Especially the word off, which is found in the name of 12 entire levels. Lair of Chaos. Empire of Ice. Time of the Giants. Secret Vault of Secrets. Lost City of Arcus. Tower of Time. Secret Sewers of Supreme Stink. The Future of Skylands. Lair of the Golden Queen. Mirror of Mystery, Land of the Undead, and Cradle of Creation. All of those levels use the word OFF. How unoriginal! For the statistics to make sense, you need to know that I'm classing the plurified word as the same word. For example, dragons and dragon are the same word to me. Just because you add an S, to the end of the world to make it plural doesn't change the fact that the word still has the same meaning behind it. Therefore, dragon repeats itself because of both dragon's peak and dragon temple. 
actually, speaking of Dragon's Peak, that's an example of a level name that doesn't have a single word that's unique amongst the, you know, level names of all of the other Scarlet levels. Both Dragon and Peak are words found in the names of other levels. Other level names that don't have a single original word of their own include that of Lair of Chaos, Molkin Mine, Secret Vault of Secrets, I mean come on, that one stole a word from its own name, repetition is lazy guys, come on! And then there's also Chaos Castle, Molkin Mountain, Chaos's Fortress, Tower of Time, Time Town, Sky Fortress, Chaos's Lair, Water Realm, Dark Realm, Undead Realm. Five of those were all from Imaginators, so if you're looking for another reason why Imaginators was lazy and unoriginal, there you go. They can't even be bothered to use unique and original words for the naming of their levels in that game. Wow. So going back to the idea that there are 121 levels in Skarnas, how many of these levels have completely original names with no words that are repeated in the names of other levels throughout the franchise? Well, it just so happens that there are 44 names that don't have a single repeated word in them and are entirely original names in and of themselves. These 44 levels are Perilous Pastures, Stormy Stronghold, Leviathan's Lagoon, Treetop Terrace, Goo Factory, Battlefield, Crawling Catacombs, Creepy Citadel, Lava Lakes Railway, Archean Armory, Pirate Seas, Cutthroat Carnival, Glacier Gully, Aerial Assault, Drillex's Big Rig, Auto Gyro Adventure, Mudwater Hollow, Rampart Ruins, Iron Jaw Gulch, Motleyville, Twisty Tunnels, Mesmeralda Show, Motherly Mayhem, Soda Festival, Phoenix for Sanctuary, Sh uh, Chef Zeppelin even, Rainfish Riviera, Monster Marsh, Mystic Mill, which got very close to another word called Mystical, but Mystic and Mystical are two completely different words, and Mystical is of course within the name of a supercharged level. But getting back on track, we also have the Sky Highlands, which is all one word. If they were different words, then lands and sky would be repeated in the name of that level but then there's also sunscraper spire midnight museum nightmare express cloud breathers crag cloud kingdom spellpunk library captain clock's chicken hq ride apocalypse demolition derby bandit train mushroom river scholarville shellmont shores and finally fizzland Again, because it's all one word, if you separated those, land, once again, would have been a repeated word with other levels that utilise that word, such as land of the undead. Again, if you were to write out all of these level names from every single Skarnas uh, game, then what you'd find is that not a single one of the words from any of those levels will be repeated. With that being said, since there are only 44 levels in Skarnas history with completely original names, that means that only 36% of Skarnas levels in general have unique and original names to call their own. Levels which only have one word in common with another are far more frequent with there being 51 of them. Not going to name them all this time, but regardless, that's still 42% of levels in Skarnas history that have one word in common with one another and are completely unoriginal because of it. There are 18 levels with two words in common, which is 15% of all Skarns levels. Then six levels have three words in common with one another. Those six levels being Lair of Chaos, Time of the Giants, Secret Vault of Secrets, Tower of Time, the Future of Skylands, and Land of the Undead. The examples being that Lair of Chaos, Lair of and Chaos are all words found in different um, levels as well, which is why therefore it shares three words in common with other levels, mind you. But regardless, that all makes up 5% of all of the levels in Skarnas history. But finally, there is one level, one offender, big enough to reuse four words from other level names in the franchise. The name of this level, which is so unbelievably original that they couldn't find out of 171,146 words for original words to use, is that of Lair of the Golden Queen. The only original word in that name is Queen. 
that's only 20% of the name overall, which can be called original. Local leaders level is only 0.8% of the entirety of the levels found within the Skardas franchise, but still, to have a name of a level in a Skardas game that is lacking this much in originality is disgraceful. Instead, they could have called it Golden Queen's Palace. The only word that would have been repeated in that case is Golden, since the Golden Arcade also exists. But, Alternatively, they also could have used a magical device known as a Theosaurus to find out that Lair has many other words which mean the exact same thing. Could you imagine them using a word like Den of the Golden Queen or Golden Queen's Hideout? Either way, they still decided to use Lair which is just plain lazy and unoriginal. Anyways, with all that being said and done, this video was a blast to record and edit together by taking the unoriginality found within the Skarnas level naming <clears throat> system. I feel as though I've created a completely original video idea, so in other words I found originality in someone else's unoriginality, which is just plain and simple awesomeness. If you were to ask me, but then again, of course, I'd say that considering that this is my video we're talking about at the end of the day. But as I digress, everyone's favourite phrase that I haven't seemed to need to use every single video. If you don't understand certain aspects of this video, I'm sorry that they weren't more clear to you, but that's entirely alright. The main takeaway from this video is that from all 121 levels in Skylanders, only 44 of them have completely original names, and Lair of the Golden Queen is quite possibly the worst name they could have picked out for a level in video game in history. Four words in that pathetic excuse for a level name have been used uh, multiple times throughout the Scarlet series. So yes, we need to let this be known. Let's get this trending on Twitter about how terrible of a name Lair of the Golden Queen is. And with all that being said and done, all of this information is summarised in the description below for you guys to ensure that you take away the main message from this video. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this math-orientated Skylanders video today. I know I did because I love math. I know a lot of phrase you hear from around often, but I truly do. And until the next video arises, oh, peace. And thank you so much as always for watching. On one final note to leave off on, I do have a special little bonus for you revolving around the graph which you're about to see on screen because that is basically the graph that I used to determine all of the statistics in this video. You can see it's all colour coded and so what colour means what can be seen at the very bottom and basically it's just how I crunch the numbers so Hopefully that's of interest to all of you, but now we move on to the true interesting factor which has to do with gameplay before you, um, since Darkwater Cove does have a rather intriguing name. First of all, it shares the same words with the Water Realm and the Dark Realm, but it's the only Skarnas level name to feature the name of two different elements. But this is the first adventure we're talking about here, meaning that, meaning that this even was before Dark itself was even an element. And despite Spyro's adventure being all about the elements and the eternal elemental sources, this is the only level in the entire game to have the name of an element within its own name. Plus, the other word, which isn't the name of the element, is the only word original within the name of a level entirely, that word being Cove. How interesting.